UMass kind of came out yesterday, kind of trailing throughout the first period of the game, but then they were able to come back. But quick note, Flames now regaining with that quick goal right there with 14.41 left in the first. Yeah, and that's a real backbreaker for the minute woman. You know, you just spend two minutes on the penalty kill, don't give anything up, and it looked like you had a little bit of going for you in the offensive zone, but then a careless turnover in the offensive zone just leads to the goal by McDonald. Yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look at replay right here. McDonald with it through the zone and quick, quick little backhand, and it looks like it just went right under the pad. Check to prevent anything from happening after that turnover. Fur with a nice, almost wraparound shot for the Flames, but it just wide now. UMass up with it. Quick shot, wrist shot, and goal for UMass. UMass just able to skate from their own zone through the injured zone into the Flames, taking advantage of that power play. Minutemen with the opportunity open door in the front. Just miscommunication. Flames off. Fl Bradford and Flames get a goal, and now we're looking at 2-1 game. With 52.9 seconds, Flames took advantage of coming out of the penalty box, going across. Punk was dumped from the one side to the other. Flames came out, and they're able to get that one-on-one -on -one with goalie and get that quick wraparound and wrist shot. Yeah, and that was really key and a really lucky bounce for the Flames. Just as the penalty was wrapping up, it looks like a pass from the minute women to the point, just got past the defensive men, bounced off a line, and Bradford timed it perfectly and was able to pull a fancy move in front of the minute women goalie and put the puck in the back of the net. Get the puck moving and get something generated. 16-15 left of this third and final period of today. Flames up 2-1, and the Flames go ahead and get another goal. There's a quick wrist shot right there. And the Flames now up 3-1 with 16-11 in this third period. And that's DeMerchant. DeMerchant now has six goals on her for the year. And that one comes in a crucial third period play. You see right here, puck getting generated behind the net. Quick pass to DeMerchant. DeMerchant gets that redirect and she just taps that in. You get a better angle right here. DeMerchant kind of just in the right place at the right time. Net was wide open for her, and she just tapped that one in. And that all started with Rachel Gibson's interception of the pass along the end, Bournes. But that's an easy save for the netminder. Flames now with an opportunity. Bradford with an opportunity. Quick shot. Top shot. Goal. Bradford with a nice open shot, and she gets the top part of the crossbar and gets a nice top-down shot. And now the Flames are up by three. Yeah, Bradford was set up there by an amazing indirect pass along the boards through the neutral zone. And with her speed, she just took a couple strong strides towards the net, fired a shot at about the middle of the right circle, and went top shelf and beat Casey Marshall to give the Flames a 4-1 advantage. You see right here on the replay, she just quick shot, she's right at the perfect sweet spot, I like to call it, right at that inner part of the circle. And she just got the quick wrist shot, just top right over the gold net. Flames with two seconds left on their power play. And now Flames will take full advantage with an extra attacker for Smybert. Flames with a shot, and it's a good. Flames now accelerate that lead to 5-1. Flames take advantage of the goalie being out of position and get that quick goal from behind. Goal number two on the day for Shelby Bradford. She took advantage of a great pass down through the slot. You see Alex Smeavert finds Bradford near the crease, gets one shot on goal, sticks with the rebound, and is able to put it in the back of the net. Yeah, Bradford does a good job of sticking with it. To Bradford, to tipping. Tipping, looking, tipping, shot, and it's good! Tipping with a shot from the blue line. And now the Flames lead is up to six. Six to one now, the Flames with 127 left in this third period. Yeah, Tipping had a great screen by another Flame down in front of the goalie. And that just allowed um, her to get the shot on the weak side of the goalie's leg. Yeah, we see right there, replay Tipping 
you know, she was eyeballing her shot, looking, and then she found that there was some space in traffic, and she just let it go, and it found the back of the net, and now Gloss, Flames have it. UMass with a last minute shot, the Flames intercept, and that is the buzzer, and the Flames come out victorious. Final score, five to one. Flames now move to 17, one, and two. That's impressive, and to continue to ride this win streak, you know, they haven't lost since October 26th. This is obviously some good momentum, and the keys to this game on why Liberty was able to do so well was um, take advantage of some power play opportunities that UMass gave them, dominate the possession in their offensive zone, and just skate with a lot of speed and a lot of energy. Those three things added up to the 5-1 win we got tonight, and, and hopefully they'll be able to continue this moving forward. Yeah, and both teams, you know, from, from the gate, we had that scoring, you know, Flames score and then, you know, UMass will score and then the lines were all mixing. But then that second period was a killer for both of them that, you know, penalties were really the Achilles heel of both. But at the end of the day, we have Liberty up six, UMass one. Day two, Liberty gets the sweep here on UMass Minutemen. And we had a great evening. My name is Brandon Susco alongside John Simmons and our third member of our team, Ashley Bongart. Everybody from Liberty Flame Sports Network, my name is Brandon. Have a great night.